Okay, let's come back home and I'll show you the view from uh, Treasure Island looking back at the city. There is some fog out there today. You never know it just from looking at this camera or even any camera that's like right in the heart of the bay. The fog is in the North Bay Valley, specifically Napa, where we've got some issues. Now, that's where the dense fog advisory is on until 10 o'clock this morning. So anywhere in gray on here, specifically up in Napa Valley, but just watching the readings from the uh, sensors out at the local airports over the last hour or so, the one in Petaluma has gone back down now to a mile and a half. So it's been up and down, which is why just heed the advice of a fog advisory rather than looking at any one particular reading for the moment. Although Napa, you've been consistently down to three tenths of a mile. Everywhere else is doing okay for the most part, at least on the visibility sensors. Real pretty view from the top of Mount Diablo this morning, sunrise having come up at 725. Not far from this camera, down in the valley there, you can see the clouds. Concord, that's where you are and it is 38 degrees. We are waking up to a cold start in the Diablo Valley, Concord in all communities in and around. Uh, you get down into the Tri-Valley, it's noticeably better. Livermore's 45, but look at Santa Rosa. 31 for the North Bay Valleys, 51 in San Jose. So we've certainly got our microclimates at play this morning, depending on where that cold air is pulled up. But we're all going to the same place for daytime highs today. Mid to upper 50s. South Bay numbers, your numbers are all identical to the East Bay numbers. Back into the Bay proper, it's all the same today. And the numbers don't change. Maybe a little cooler once you get up into Lake County, but that's about it. 52 today for Clear Lake. So, when's our next chance for rain? Well, it's a very small one, but it comes on Monday. And it's not really going to be a major event if we even get this. But you can watch the storm right now all the way out across the Pacific try to get here for Monday, a closer view. It's now showing up on some of our higher resolution forecast models because we're close enough to it. You can see light showers perhaps through the morning commute, but very light. Think of what happened yesterday on Friday. We got some light rain. This would be less than that. So this would be less than a tenth of an inch of rain should we get it. But Monday is going to look like another storm's trying to get here. We'll have the clouds back around. We'll get some rain. Thankfully, the weekend does not. It's going to stay sunny most of the weekend with the exception of the morning cloudiness and the fogginess. Uh, the afternoons are great, Saturday, Sunday. But Monday, we are kind of back into the storm track. And it's light. Only a couple hundredths of an inch of rain showing up there. And it's not the only one. As we look out towards Thursday, that's where we see the next one. Another possibility for some light rain. Notice the daytime highs. San Jose is the only location on here. Noticeably different as it goes up into the low to mid 60s for daytime highs. Everywhere else stays in this mid to upper 50 degree range. And you can see the North Bay Valleys will do it as well. Kind of typical. The same places that will get the coldest on mornings like this can also warm up the most. It's the drier air of those inland valleys that allows it to do that. All right, Devin, that's worth